Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay Alvarez, and today I'm going to give you guys an update on the Max Track 4.5 inch lift kit and the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W all terrain tires. It's been, it's been about 18 months now, it's been about 30,000 miles, I would say, or 25, between 25 and 30. Um, so far, everything's good. Um, just recently, um, something feels loose in the front end, so I'm gonna take off the wheels and inspect it, and I'm gonna record it so you guys can see. I don't know what to expect, you know, um, but let's walk around and you guys check out the tires and see what you guys think. Okay, guys, so this front tire, I have not changed it, I have not rotated since, so let's check it out. Check out the threads. I'm gonna put a quarter on here so you guys can see. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not a tire expert, so you guys could see. See if you guys could see the depth right there. As you can see right here on the little shoulder right there. Um, so this is the driver, and the rear is obviously pretty new because it's always been, it's been in the rear its whole life. Check it out. So this is the passenger and this one I have rotated once. You guys don't judge me, I'm lazy. It's a lot of work, you know. So here's the front. Check out the rear. Here's the rear tire. Still looks pretty decent after 30,000 miles. So let's lift the could see it's getting rusty um, everything looks normal so I'm gonna see if I could retorque everything because something sounds funky checking out the joints see how they look Or anything. Okay, so it's a 5.8 and this one's a 15. If I'm doing this wrong, guys, comment below, let me know. I don't know if this became loose because of the lift. If you guys know, comment below, let me know. Okay, that looks good. Let's try it. So there's a bolt right here. It goes from this is the spindle itself, so I'm trying to see if this one needs to be retorqued. So let's find it. Okay, so here's what I tightened up right here in the bottom end. I tightened this lower ball joint. I would say a quarter turn. And this sway bar right here, it's another quarter turn. And I looked at the shock, and I think I'm gonna need shocks pretty soon. Look at look at the bushings. The the shock did not need tightening here in the bottom, but look what I found out. This is the Max Track brake line that it came with. Look at that. I don't know if it's because of the Arizona weather or. Let me go around so you guys can see it. Okay, here we are. Check it out. It's like a little protective casing. It is a wire mesh brake line, but I don't think that's normal. Guys, comment below and let me know. And all I did was tighten this so I could, because it was more 
this angle. So all I did was lower it so it could face a little bit more down so it'd be all crimped up right here. And it still looks, from here it still looks good. So that's the only concern that I saw but other than that, um, the shock did need tightening. If you guys can see right there, I did like two whole turns right there. Um, this ball joint did not need tightening. It was good. Uh, let me go again in the bottom so I can show you guys. The, the hub that bolts on, which is this one, this one, and this one in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see right there. This, these three did not need tightening. They were good. So hopefully that fixes my weird problem i don't have any problems but it sounds like something's loose and i'm assuming it was this sway bar that you guys saw me tighten earlier look it had a gap so right now i did tighten it up see what it does i didn't think that was it for now um okay let's check out the rear Okay, there's the spacer. Still looks pretty solid to me. Please remember. This one, I didn't change the brake line. It didn't come from the rear. But this is the stock. Check out, look at the stock of rubber. It's weird. So, uh, let me see if uh, the shocks need to be retorqued. And I think um, that's it because that's all we messed with was the shocks. And then we just dropped. We disconnected the shocks and then the differential just dropped. And that's how we stuck these in there but there's no cracks no nothing looks pretty solid to me Okay guys, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I retort. It'll be the shock, I did like three turns. I did the sway bar right here. This top one, it was loose right here. So I, if you look at it, I did like two and a half turns. Right there, you can see where it went in there. Also, this top one, this top, um, bushing uh conjoint whatever it's called this one was good this one right here from the steering from the rack and pinion or the steering wheel thing whatever this one i did like two turns and a half it was a little, little loose and the, the same thing happened to this brake line is cracked oh you guys can see right there so I did the same thing, if you can see the brake fluid, I loosened it so I could be able to turn it at this angle instead of it was like this, so so it could be, so it could allow a little bit more flexibility. Up here it still looks good. Um, the bolt back here, I don't know if you guys can see, 
the bolts that bolt on the hub, like this one right here, and then the two bottom ones. This one, this one, and these, these were good. Um, the bottom of the shock, still good. That one didn't need tightening. And I think that's it. So guys, um, I took it for a spin. It feels a lot more stiffer. It feels more like it's gripping the road more. It doesn't feel loose like it did. Um, but that I did come to a conclusion to all that noise that I'm hearing. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. Um, for some reason, the bushings and the rear shocks and the bushings and the front shocks, they're like shot, like gave out. The shocks have a lot of play and I'll show you guys right now. I'm assuming that's what's making all the noise after all this time. Then again, you know, I bought the rear shock used and they're from a 2012 or 2013 Ram. And the shocks that were on here in this truck, I left them on there. I do not know if they're original or not, but I have not touched them since I bought the truck. And it's going on five years. So I'm pretty sure that's why uh, I looked at the arms, the lower control arms, and they look fine. The bushings and they look fine. The, control, the upper control arms, they look fine as well. Um, just a shock it just has a lot of you could like literally like move it around so I'm assuming that's what's making all that weird rattling noise you know it's not like us on flat roads you can't feel it it's only like on rough roads when there's excessive vibration that's when you could hear sometimes vibrating but so far um, the ride quality is still there you know I feel stuck to me you know I don't feel it it bouncing up and down you know like when the shocks are worn out or none of that i think it's just bushings in there that took took uh, you know what i mean <laughs> but let's go down there so you guys can see what i'm talking about okay so this is the rear tire as you guys can see this is the rear shock and let me show you guys what i'm talking about <laughs> get the camera to focus on this area right here so this is the shock I don't know if you guys can hear that it's coming from here it's pushing in there Hear it. Ready? Sorry if it's moving a lot, but I can't. It's hard to grip the camera and record and talk and see what you're recording. It's harder than what it looks like. But here it is. There's something. And the bolts on here are nice and tight. So it's inside here, the bushing in here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But everything else, I mean, that shop over there, the down doesn't do that. spacers that they're holding up pretty nice they still look solid I uh, try to retorque the shocks and the lower control arms everything that we messed with and I did not need anything the rear is good so far and that's after loading it up with the quad towing and all that good stuff hey guys so that comes to the conclusion of this video um, if you guys noticed, the only thing I noticed was that the bushings and the shocks are shot for some reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because they're old, or I mean, the ride still feels smooth even when I come to a stop. It's really observant, so it feels like they're still good. It's just the bushings. 
Um, let me know what you guys think, you know, what caused that or did I put the wrong shocks on since I lifted it or did I hyper extend them or let me know what you guys think, comment below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think um, after this 18 month update. Uh, if you guys would like to buy the tires or the lift kit or the even the rear spacers and the that I have, uh, I'll leave you guys the links down below so you guys go check them out, buy them. If this is the if you you're planning to lift your truck, uh, I always get compliments when I'm on the road. It's beautiful. Um, uh, the next video, I think I want to do something uh, like changing out the shocks or maybe even do something to the wheels so I could give it an aftermarket look but keeping the stocks because i love my stocks I, I think they look beautiful on it um but give it a thumbs up and comment below tell me what you think and if you want more content like this let me know what kind of content you guys want to see so i could just keep uploading and, and letting you guys know my opinion my feedback with my experience when it comes to this max track lift kit i'll talk to you guys later